in the previous lecture we have studied about how the band is the energy band is formed in a pn junction diode and in that we have discussed about the contact potential v0 or v0 that is developed across the depletion region or transition region so from the energy band diagram of pn junction diode we can see that the conduction band energy level and the valence band energy level on the p side is much higher than that of the n side band conduction band and valence band and the difference in the energy levels on both p and n side that is represented by qv0 qv0 means the contact potential measured in electron volt so this energy difference is contact potential so this energy difference or this contact potential is developed uh, to make the fermi level constant or uh, at equilibrium the fermi level should be constant to maintain this fermi level uh, to be constant uh, uh, this energy uh, this contact potential is developed across the pn junction so we have to in this lecture we have we are going to derive an expression for this contact potential in terms of the doping concentration on p and n side so actually uh, the transition region uh, this is the transition region and w is the width of the transition region and uh, actually this electrostatic potential difference so vn is the uh, constant potential existing on the n side electrostatic potential existing on the n side and vp this is vp so vp is the electrostatic potential uh, existing on the neutral n uh, neutral p side it is a it is a constant potential so the electrostatic potential difference between the n side and p side that is known as a contact potential v0 this contact potential is also known as a built in voltage or a barrier potential uh, so we are going to derive an expression for the contact potential in terms of the doping concentration that is uh, nd and na so also we uh, we also discussed in the previous lecture at equilibrium at equilibrium condition at equilibrium the current the total current in a semiconductor will be zero the net current will be zero uh, if it is due to electrons or is if it is due to holes so here uh, we are considering the case of holes so jp will be equal to zero at equilibrium jp means uh, jp drift jp drift plus jp diffusion the net current value will be equal to zero so jp drift j is drift current jp drift means the drift current due to holes so j is equal to sigma i drift current equation is sigma i sigma i is q into qp here we are considering p of x x means the position of the semiconductor that it is marked here so qp mu p mu p mobility this is conductivity into electric field e of x so so p and electric field both uh, changes with the position so p of x and e of x so q p of x q p mu p into e of x e of x is electric field minus diffusion current is so minus q into dp into dp of x by dx dp means diffusion coefficient of holes so this is equal to zero drift current diffusion current so the net current value will be zero similarly we can uh, do with the, the electron case that is jn equal to zero jn drift plus jn diffusion is equal to zero here we consider the whole case so equating we will get q into p of x into mu p into e of x equal to q into dp into dp of x by dx q q get cancelled and 
mu p by dp dp we are taking to the left side so mu p by dp into e of x is equal to p of x i am taking so q and q get cancelled and this p of x goes to right side it become 1 by p of x into d p of x by dx and this mu p by dp can be replaced by using Einstein relation so Einstein relation is dp by mu p is equal to kt by q so dp by mu p is equal to kt by q means mu p by D, dp is equal to q by kt so using this relation using Einstein relation this is Einstein relation and similarly uh, using one more formula we have to apply here that is electric field E of x is equal to minus dV of x by dx so electric field is minus d by dx of V of x V of x means electrostatic potential so uh, this is so mu p by dp is replaced by q by kt using Einstein relation and E of x is replaced by minus dV of x by dx which is equal to 1 by p of x into dp of x by dx so here on uh, rearranging this equation we can write it as minus q by kt into dv of x is equal to uh, 1 by p of x dp of x so uh, actually we are not cancelling these terms dx dx we cannot cancel by uh, rearranging this equation we can write it as minus q by kt into dv of x is equal to 1 by p of x dp of x here if we look at the le left side we can see v of x v of x is the variable here and here it is p of x so actually we are going to integrate both sides to obtain the value of uh, the contact potential so actually electrostatic potential to electrostatic potential we already defined uh, from the diagram we can see that v of n vn vn is the uh, vn vn is the electrostatic potential on it is a constant potential electrostatic potential on n side and vp it is the electrostatic potential on p side here then also the whole concentration here we are dealing only uh, the whole diffusion or, or the whole diffusion and drift case we are uh, discussing so here we are defining pp pp is the majority carriers it is the whole concentration on the p side so it is the whole concentration on p side and pn it is the whole concentration on n side n side means the holes are diffusing to the n side so actually pp is the majority carrier and pn means it is the minority carrier pp is the majority carrier on the p side actually this pp and pn are measuring at the edge of the transition region that is very important we are measuring the values at the edge of the transition region so pp is the whole concentration at the edge of p side actually it is the majority carrier concentration on the p side and pn is the whole concentration at the edge of n side and it is the minority carrier it will act as a minority carrier in n side so the holes are diffusing to the n side then that holes on the n side will be act as a minority carrier and pp is the holes on majority carrier existing at the p side so we defined vn vp pp and pn and then we will integrate this equation that is we have the equation 
minus q by k t so we are integrating the equation dv of x is equal to 1 by p of x dp of x so we are integrating both sides so minus q by k t is a constant so minus q by k t this equation we are integrating integrating both sides minus so minus q by k t is constant integrating dv of x integral 1 p 1 by p of x dp of x here p of x is the variable here v of x is the variable so minus q by k t is a constant so integrating both sides that we have done so minus q by k t integral v of x is equal to 1 by p of x dp of x so uh, v of x means electrostatic potential so i am substituting v uh, we can uh, integrate v of x from vn to vp or vp to vn any any way we can take i am taking it as vn to or uh, vp to vn vp to vn so vp is the electrostatic potential on p side vn is the electrostatic potential on n side so then we are considering the lowermost integral as the p side so vp is the electrostatic potential on p side and similarly here we will consider pp so vp and pp so that that must that must be in the lower integral so uh, vp means it is on p side pp means that is also on p side so vp is the electrostatic potential on p side pp is the whole concentration on the edge of the transition region on the p side and Vn corresponding here it will be Pn. Pn is the whole concentration on N side. So this is N side. This is also N side. Here P side. This is also P side. That should be uh, we should uh, check always uh, the lower integral and the upper integral. Uh, so here lower integral P side and upper integral N side. Here P side N side. Otherwise N side P side N side P side that should be matched so we are integrating so minus q by kt into actually 1 dv of x means it is v of x v of x limit vp to vn 1 by p of x dp of x 1 by x dx that is natural logarithm of ln that is natural logarithm of p of x with the limit limit pp and pn so this will become minus q by kt into vn minus vp equal to natural logarithm of upper limit pn so pn minus natural logarithm of pp so again this will become minus q by kt into so we already defined vn minus vp is v0 contact potential so this is equal to vn minus vp is equal to v0 so substituting for vn minus vp uh, and the right side become uh, natural logarithm of pn minus natural logarithm of pp so so this minus I am taking to the right side so q by kt into v0 will become ln pp minus ln pn so natural logarithm of pp minus natural logarithm of pn so this right side become natural logarithm of log a minus log b is log a by b so log pp by Pn that is q by kt into v0 q by kt into v0 will become equal to ln into pp by pn or we can write v0 is equal to kt by q ln pp by pn so we have obtained equation for v0 or contact potential in terms of pp and pn 
so if we consider a p type semiconductor and n type semiconductor to form a junction that is p n junction and this holes are diffusing from p side to n side so p p is the whole concentration on p side and uh, p n is the whole concentration on the uh, n side so uh, p p actually this is a majority carrier so in order to obtain a p semiconductor we are doping it with acceptors acceptor ions so uh, we already studied this p p this majority carriers so this p p can be replaced with the n a so this is equal to k t by q into ln p p is replaced by n a divided by what is p n p n is actually the minority carrier on n side so the majority carrier on n side is donor so the minority carrier on um, n side can be determined by that is p n is equal to using mass action law though n i square by n d so this is the value of p n so p n is the minority carrier on n side we already studied how to find out the minority carrier so minority carrier can be obtained by using uh, the mass action law majority carrier concentration will be equal to the net to doping so uh, p p will be equal to n a p p is the whole concentration on the p side majority carrier concentration on the p side that will be equal to n a and p n is the minority carrier on n side so this p n can be obtained by using mass action law so p n is n i square by majority majority on n side is n d so n i square by n d that is the value of p n so we can replace p n by n i square by n d so and this equation become k t by q l n n a n d by n i square so this is v zero so this is the final expression for contact potential in terms of the uh, concentration donors and acceptors so n a and n d are the impurity concentrations so this is the final expression v0 is equal to kt by q into ln natural logarithm of n a n d by n i square n i is the intrinsic carrier concentration so this is the expression for uh, contact potential this is the final expression for contact potential in the next lecture we will Uh, discuss about the charge distribution electric field and the width of the depletion region so that derivations will be uh, discussed in the next lecture thank you